So world rank number six, Teodoro Contura, age 26, up against the 28-year-old world rank number five, Sara Bowser. And you've got to say that Bowser's form coming into this has been the better of the two. She won the World Cup in March in Belgium. She's really stepped up a, a level, has Sarah Bowser, since, since even last season. So we're off for run and we're running and Tiro de Contura gets the first point on the board. Bowser straight back at her. Already coaching coming from the Greek box. Now you have to watch out for Bowser because she has a lovely counter attack. And Contura wary of that, keeping her arm back. So she doesn't get hit with the stop cut. So scores leveled. Attack finished there when the foot touched the ground and the counter attack from the Greek fencer. Contura being very careful when she attacks forward and is being able to avoid that counter from uh, Balza. And Balza used, used that, uh, that move very effectively today, but it's not really going to work. And it's not working against Contura. Well, that time Bowser got the parry. Just picked up the right of way, just there with the parry. Attack full short again. And Bowser that time catching Contura with the counter. And we go to the break, and Balza in control, 8-4. Contura really trying to take the fight to the French fencer. But Balza's defense is very, very good. Sarah Bowser, another level this year of performance, another step forward. It's part of a very strong uh, French team. They'll be pushing towards Olympic qualification as a team. You won't have to worry about individual places. The chances are that uh, They'll be able to take four fences to Paris. Or three and a reserve for the team competition. Oh 
So here we go. Will Contura change tactics? Picking up the right of way. Again, Gontura's attack. And Balza just shrugging. It's very difficult for Balza to work these counters with the way that Gontura attacks forward. Balzer into double figures. Balzer calling for a video review. So nothing given. Point goes to the Greek. And now only one point in it. Coach being shown a yellow card there. And Bowser are asking for a video review. And a successful video review. Referee changing the decision. 11 8 now the score. That's a big bonus for Bowser. Contura, well, can't waste any time. Straight back at her. Beautiful from Tierra Gontura. Look at this Bowser attacking forward. Just a lovely little counter. Lovely little stop cut to the wrist. And direct action there from Tierra, Teodora Gontura. Levels the score again. And now Contura is in the lead, 12-11, and Sara Balza takes her mask off. And buys herself a little bit of thinking time. In the last few points, Contura has really been committed and attacked forwards. The hop. Looking to finish and does just that. 
This would be a massive win for the Greek fencer. A career best if she can pull this off. And now only one point away. She's got a silver medal in the Orléans Grand Prix last season. Lost in the final to her teammate. Can she do it now? Got a chance to finish and does just that. And Teodora Gontura of Greece has taken her first ever gold medal in a Grand Prix competition. Looks to the sky with tears in her eyes. And a well-earned win from Teodora Gontura. She is the gold medal winner. And really took the initiative. It was when it went down to that video review, the second video review that was reversed against her. Balzer had asked for the video. The decision got reversed in Balzer's favor. And that seemed to fire up uh, Teodora Contura because after that, she was much more committed attacked and has this strange kind of hopping action when she presses forward on the attack but it stops Balza from using that uh, stop cut that she can use so effectively and that's what it means to Teodora Contura the first ever gold medal for her in a Grand Prix competition. The confirmation of the result, it is 15-11 to Teodora Gontura of Greece. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the action here. We've had two fantastic finals. Osan Gouk back on form. And Teodora Gontura stepping out of the, uh, the shadow of her teammate, Espina Giorgiadu, who has uh, been the, the slightly more successful of the two.